Contributor Mr. Li from Dongwa, China Disclaimer. This article is not based on my own experiences but compiled from the storyteller's account. In 2009, at the tender age of 18, I set out to work away from home for the first time. Destined for Dongkan, Jingdong, China. Guided by a fellow villager, I joined an electronics factory. My life was a monotonous cycle of work and sleep, a testament to the influence one's environment can have on them. In the dormitory, every boy, regardless of looks or stature, had a girlfriend, which kindled envy within me, especially since I had my eye on a girl named Amy. Beautiful and captivating, Amy worked on the next production line, though we weren't on the same line. We would often cross paths on the way to and from work or the restroom. Her angelic face and devilish figure frequently haunted my dreams. Courtship, as it often does, required some investment. After receiving my paycheck, I invited Amy to dinner, and to my surprise, the usually aloof Amy agreed. She chose the restaurant, and we spent over a hundred that evening. Encouraged by Amy's hints, I confessed my feelings to her. She kissed my hand in response, a gesture of acceptance. Later, Amy revealed her desire for a stylish handbag and asked if I would be willing to purchase it for her. There was a saying in the factory a man's true feelings were measured by his willingness to spend money on a girl. Despite its cost equaling a month's wages for me, I agreed. Borrowing money from my fellow villagers and colleagues, I managed to present the bag to Amy during our second day. Amy's joy at receiving the bag and her kiss on my cheek filled me with happiness. We strolled for a while after dinner. Following my village mate's advice, I mustered the courage to book a room for us. Amy followed me silently, uttering not a word. That night, we, a young couple in love, shared a beautiful time together. Amy revealed her past relationship and hoped I wouldn't mind it wasn't her first time. Though it was my first experience with love, Amy's beauty and figure made the fact that she had a previous boyfriend seem normal. In the days that follow, I showered Damie with gifts both big and small, which she always received with happiness, never minding the cost. We were like many couples in love, basking in the sweetness of affection. However, our romance lasted only two months before I sensed something was wrong. One night, after a passionate moment, Amy went to take a shower when her phone rang. Thinking nothing of it, as we were a couple and should have no secrets, I answered the phone and on speaker, handed it to her. To my shock, a man's voice on the other end affectionately called her baby and inquired when she would join him to sleep. However, Amy acted as if she hadn't heard anything, took the phone, and went into the bathroom without any explanation. After her shower, I asked Amy if she had another boyfriend, to which she tacitly agreed. That night, we slept back to back, and she didn't offer me a single explanation all night. Listening to her soundly asleep, I couldn't sleep at all. In the middle of the night, I secretly unlocked Amy's phone and noted the man's number. I wanted to tell that man that I was her official boyfriend and hoped he would tactfully leave. The next day, after work, I took some time to call the man. As soon as I explained my intention, the man mocked me, asking what right did a flash who finishes intimacy in two minutes have to order him around. He also said that if it weren't for my willingness to spend money on Amy, she would have left me long ago, after mocking me. The man also revealed to me that Amy didn't just have me and him as boyfriends, challenging me to find out about the others if I could. Then he hung up directly. I was furious and after work, I secretly followed Amy. I found out that indeed, she was indiscriminate in her companions, and sometimes the money for the hotel with men came from her. It took me a month to walk out of this relationship. I packed up my belongings and left the place that had brought me pain. In the following days, I threw myself into my work. I strived to improve my skills, continuously learning and progressing. At the same time, I also began to reevaluate my life and values. Years later, through my own effort, I achieved some success in my career. I also met a girl who truly understands and loves me. We support each other and grow together. Leading a former colleague and talking about 
Amy, her life hadn't changed much. She was still flitting between different men, trying to satisfy her material needs through them. However, such a lifestyle made her increasingly empty and lonely. One day, I ran into Amy by chance. Seeing my achievements, she couldn't hide her envious look. She tried to reconnect with me, but I was no longer the naive young man I once was. I politely refused her and continued on with my own happy life. The story ends here. But I think in life, we will always encounter various setbacks and difficulties. However, as long as we can bravely face them and learn from them, we will surely grow in progress. At the same time, we must learn to cherish the true happiness that belongs to us and not be fooled by superficial things.